is never that serious, sis. It's serious to me! What's up you guys, it's your girl Coco Barbs back at it again with another video. Thank you for tuning in to this video. If you are new, welcome. If you are an existing and returning subscriber, hey girl, hey queen, how you doing? Today we are getting ready for a photo shoot. It's a business photo shoot, so I wanted to keep everything cute, but you know, put my personalized touch on it. I can't wait for y'all to see how I did this video it's probably gonna be like a talk over video um but yeah i definitely ran through it quick but it was impactful and it was efficient queen so if you want to see how i got this look definitely stay tuned don't forget to subscribe comment down below and hit that notification bell because i want y'all to see all my videos when they come out but without further ado let's get into the video all right, queens, I'm starting with my hair. I'm going to install these clip-ins from Better Length. And um, when I took it out the pack, it was literally so soft and flowy. Like, I was automatically obsessed. And I was going for a natural look, so that's why I opted in to get these particular clip-ins because the combs are literally so strong. And it comes with about, I believe, nine pieces. 10 to 9 pieces I believe and it covers my whole head it's like effortless to install so yeah I'm just showing you how I parted my hair to install these clip-ins and I get the process started I do have a video on how I install clip-ins so definitely go check that out if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to install clip-ins but this is how it's looking and it's falling exactly how I want it to so I'm gonna stop rambling and let y'all and let y'all watch the whole process of me installing these clip-ins at the end I was just so in love I'm doing the side part so yeah y'all just enjoy and I'll be back soon hair back and going in with the Pantene heat primer I love this primer because it really just protects your hair from heat damage I recently just took these clippings out and washed my hair and my hair was perfectly fine even though I was just blow drying it but sometimes I really like be scared to even blow dry my hair because I do not want to ruin my natural pattern but anyway I'm doing a side part today and and looking back on it, I don't even think that I fixed, you know, my part to look straight. But that's okay, honey. Hair is not perfect. <laughs> we gonna keep it moving, okay? So, as you can see, I'm just blow drying that out and making sure that it's looking how I want it, okay? And Queen, I'm loving how this is coming together. I'm literally obsessed and it's literally the exact look that I wanted. The only concern that I did have at the time is, you know, I didn't know how everything was going to blend together at first because my hair is like a 1B and even though these are like human, this is human hair, I didn't have time to dye it. So the human hair is giving like a 1, you know what I mean? It's giving a little bit more brown than my natural hair, but that was okay, honey, because my hair is longer. So it kind of looks like everything is blending in anyway and I was pleased period all right you guys I did my eyebrows off camera and I'm moving on to primer I'm gonna just put this all over my face 
and rub that in. I love this primer. Don't mind this uh, mirror. I need to see what I'm doing, honey, because we taking pictures today and I want everything kind of a little bit much. So when I take these pictures, it'll just be flawless. I am going in with this Juvia's Place Concealer in shade seven. Hopefully y'all can see that. But everything will be posted below. And I'm just going over my dark spots. Is that a neck? Ugh. Yes. This concealer is literally like the same as my skin. I'm just going over like my, all of my dark spots. Tap this out. Gonna put some right here. Right here as well as under my eye. So basically this is just spot correcting. go in with my Fenty. My Fenty foundation never fails me, baby. But right before I do that, I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe setting spray, and then I'm gonna go in with that in my favorite foundation brush, and I'm just gonna So I'm just gonna mix the Juvia's and the Tarte Shape, the Tarte Shape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I always say that wrong, like what? I'm mixing these two because the Shape Tape Concealer is a little bit too light. So I wanna just mix those two. So if I haven't said it y'all, I'm taking pictures and I really want everything to show up so I'm going to contour today. So this nose is gonna be snitched. I'm contouring with this black opal foundation stick in Ebony Brown. And then instead of just going straight on with the stick, I'm just going to, I don't know what's going on with this, but what is this white stuff? What? Girl. So instead of going in with the stick, just doing it like that, I'm just gonna get my brush, wipe it on there, get a lot of product on there, and just kind of like put it where I would want. You see how seamless that looks? I feel like is really just all about the technique, sis. Like, it just gives me enough to really, the three, it gives me enough to really just make a statement. You dig what I'm saying? I just wanna make the statement, sis. I love this hair. Yes! And then I'm gonna go down my nose. I'm not adding any product. I just really want the brush to speak for itself. Oh yeah, y'all see that. I wanna go up into my eyebrow and that also like blends the eyebrow out maybe a little bit too much, but we'll fix that. And then I'm just taking my foundation brush and just blending everything in. Now here lately, I have been such an advocate for blush. I never really put um, the liquid blush underneath and I don't have any, but I just had an idea. I'm gonna put this corrector, this um, concealer corrector shade. It's like an orangey shade. And I'm just gonna put that on there. I'm just gonna use this brush. It's literally like a painting brush, <laughs> but it's clean. And I just bought it for makeup, not painting. So I'm just gonna put that on there. I want this to kind of, like I want this to kind of go right here. Yeah, y'all see that, that melanin. And I be putting blush like everywhere. 
but I'm just gonna put it right on top and just press it in. I think that works. Just really pressing that in. And then I'm gonna go with my foundation brush and make sure that's seamless. What do y'all think? I like it. I like it. Okay, next I'm going in with my face foundation. It's the Fenty, it's Fenty Powder Foundation. I love this. I have oily skin, so powder is literally my best friend. Okay, next I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Loose Setting Powder in medium deep underneath my eye. Do y'all think this under eye is too dark? I feel like I normally go lighter. So then I'm gonna go in with a lighter powder just to brighten this under eye up. I love a bright under eye. And then I'm going to let that bake. Y'all see that blush underneath there? Ugh, okay. So while all of that is setting, I'm gonna do my eyes. This palette is always like my literal favorite. I need to get some new palettes cause y'all gonna be like, sis, do you have any other suggestions? I don't because this palette is so good. Um, Let me lighten my, my eye. Going in with the Tarte Shape Concealer. Just gonna put that on both eyes and blend that out. Okay, so now that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with my favorite palette. It's the Juvia's Place Warrior Two. you already know. Then I'm going in with this shade right here and just Taking that into my eyebrow, from outer corner to my eyebrow. And this is just like acting as my transition shade. For some reason, when I get in front of the camera, I just, I just don't be acting like myself all the time. Like, I really try to be authentic with y'all, but the camera just be making me shy sometimes. Next, I'm going in with this deeper color. I want it to be concentrated in one area. And I kinda want this really deep because in pictures, it's not gonna show unless it is. I'm going to take some pictures for a new business venture. I don't wanna say anything yet because I'm trying to get everything in order, but be on the lookout, be on the lookout. Hopefully by this time, by the time this video is out, I would have already announced it because I really just wanna hurry up. Not necessarily hurry up, but I really just wanna launch this business because I'm super excited. But yeah, I just wanted to take a couple of pictures just to let y'all know she's the MUA. She loves makeup, but she also, she takes care of business, okay? She takes care of business. Like, just to let y'all know. I wanna take these two colors. I couldn't even find anybody to necessarily take my pictures. But girl, I'm so to determined that I'm going by myself, sis. Like, I gotta get it done. And I'm traveling pretty soon. So this is pretty much the only day that I could do it. And then I'm going to put on my lashes and be right back. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to push all the excess powder into the skin. I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place Loose Powder. And I can't pronounce the word. So it will be linked down below. I want it just a little bit lighter. So I'm going in with my Zulu palette and we all know that I like to bronze with this palette and we're just gonna bronze it up. Like, I wanna be bronzed. And it's all coming together. I literally go ham with all of this because I just love how it just brings color back into my skin. Right here where my nose is. See, I be getting too carried away and messing up the definition of my nose. 
and I know it may look like a lot once we get done take all these pictures it's gonna look great okay I want to deepen the perimeter of my face with this brown color like you see that do you see that though like who's really coming for your life like this it's never that serious sis it's serious to me in the same palette I'm going to be taking this orange and pink shade orange and pink shade and we're going blush 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 orange pink orange pink blush we're gonna blush it up I love a, a blushed face going in with my foundation brush making sure everything is seamless pressing in this powder I'm gonna fix my eyebrows just a little bit. I wanna put some powder on my eyebrows too. I may be doing too much, but I just need these to stay in place. How's this looking? How are my eyebrows looking? Dude, I look real. I feel like I messed up my eyebrows just a little bit. Okay. I'm going in with this Kiss Professional Lip Liner. I absolutely love this. I should have left my eyebrows alone. Mm. What do y'all think? Uh, my eyebrows are like literally killing me. I really want my lips to stay, so I'm going in with the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills um, matte lipstick. Going in with the lighter color in the middle. I know this looks like a lot to some. I want to go in with this Maybelline Liquid Matte Lipstick in Composure and just, yeah, go over that to make that blend in. I like everything. I'm gonna go in with this foundation brush. Make sure everything is seamless. I think everything is done. Let me do the bottom lashes and then I'll be done. Oh, y'all, I want to put some highlight too, but I'm going to spray my skin. Okay, so I'm just going to push all of this in. I used to wear this type of highlight all the time back in the day, and I stopped, and I'm like, why? Why did I stop? Why? What was the reason? What was the reason? Y'all see how that translate on camera? I like that. And then I'm gonna seal it in with my Benai Final Seal. And when I tell you my makeup is not going anywhere, when I tell you we did the proper steps, it's not going anywhere, sis. And it looks very much like glass skin. It looks very much like glass skin, like you see it. You see it, you see it, eh, eh. This is so cute. All right, you guys, let's change into my outfit. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing today. Okay, you guys, this is the fit. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how the fit looks um, when I go to the photo shoot, I'm rushing. And the sun is about to go down, so I need to go right now. But I love the way it looks on camera. The highlight is really amazing and purple and doing what it needs to do. Y'all, let me know what, how you would get ready for a photo shoot. Would you use this highlight? Um, go without highlight? Would you do this hair? Because this hair is a statement by itself. I wanted to curl it, but I can't find my curling iron. So I'm gonna just go like this. It's not bad. Like I would wear my hair out like this like oh, oh, oh. So yeah, I can't stop looking in the viewfinder like I say in every video because 
this look is so cute i did my nails off camera you know i just did a little press on or whatnot but um nevertheless thank you for watching this video be sure to definitely subscribe hit that notification bell and make sure you select all instead of personalized so you can see all of my videos and comment down below um, if you like this look if you didn't like this look what you want to see next I want to know queen thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one don't forget to be encouraged stay blessed and always be aggressive with your wave bye